The United States realizes the importance of its military needs in the future. That's why Uncle Sam's country continues to update its weapons to protect its interests and those of its allies. The U.S. plans to retire the F-22 Raptor fighter jet. Here are the reasons and potential replacements. Even the most sophisticated fighter jets need to be updated to face their ever-growing enemies. The F-22 Raptor fighter jet in the last two decades has become the mainstay of the U.S. Air Force. Unfortunately, a number of problems have made the U.S. military plan to retire this Lockheed Martin fighter jet. <music> Reporting from Sputnik News, U.S. Air Force Deputy Chief of Staff Lt. Gen. Clinton Hinote said that the role of the F-22 Raptor will be replaced by a new type of aircraft, drone or unmanned aircraft, which is currently being developed under the Next Generation Air Dominance NGAD program. <music> However, Hinote emphasized that the replacement of the F-22 fleet will not take place in the near future. This flagship fighter jet will probably be replaced in the 2030s. F-22 Raptor fighter jet by Lockheed Martin, currently in use by the U.S., is a fifth-generation aircraft which made its first flight in 1997 and was introduced in 2005. In the 2030s, this aircraft will enter its 40s, which is clearly quite old for a fighter aircraft. For the U.S. Air Force, aircraft at that age are no longer capable of providing optimal performance. <laughs> By the 2030s, the aircraft will be in its 40s, and it won't be the right tool for the job, especially when we're talking about defending our friends like Taiwan and Japan and the Philippines against a growing and expanding Chinese threat, said Lieutenant General Hinote in an interview with Defense News. High operational costs and suboptimal performance. High Note said that the small number of F-22s, high operating costs, and the enemy's increasingly advanced air defense capabilities make it difficult for the Raptor to survive. As an illustration, the operational costs of an F-22 with an average age of 12 years is U.S. $678 million. Currently, the U.S. Air Force has 186 F-22 units. This large amount is predicted to further complicate U.S. military finances. Not to mention, he continued, F-22 production was hampered by spare parts supply problems due to the loss of original equipment manufacturers. This problem was one of the important points that forced the F-22 to retire. The plan to replace the F-22 was also expressed by the U.S. Air Force Chief of Staff, General C.Q. Brown. He explained that the F-22 would leave its colleagues still in service, such as the Lockheed Martin F-35, Boeing F-15EX, and Lockheed Martin F-16. General Brown also began to confirm the existence of a mysterious series of aircraft now being worked on by the NGAD program. Despite its high cost, the F-22 fighter jet is said to have always failed to complete its main mission of destroying enemy aircraft in combat. Reporting from Sputnik News, F-22 fighter jets were first deployed in Alaska in 2007 to intercept Russian Tu-96MS and Tu-160 bombers flying over international waters. In 2012, several F-22s were deployed as a show of force near Iran. 
Next, in 2014, a small number of F-22s were deployed in Germany, Poland and Estonia on a rotating basis. During the U.S.-led coalition's campaign against Daesh, ISIS in Syria in 2014-2015, F-22s were deployed and successfully dropped 270 bombs on a total of 60 targets. In late 2017, F-22s carried out one mission to bomb Taliban-controlled areas in Afghanistan.